This one, $30. This one, $10. That's because this is a reproduction and they're being very clear about that. Look how poorly the colors are spread as opposed to this piece where the colors fill in the blanks. This pinkish is just sort of sprayed on. The bluish in the background is just sort of sprayed on. The clay is the wrong color. It's white rather than the tan. Yes, exactly. And that's why I wanted to show it. And I love the fact that you actually are representing it correctly. And there it is not saying USA. Some of the early reproductions, they even say USA on, which just, I know, I just want to take a gun and have a nice firing range with all the reproductions. Oh, that's great. Yeah, look at the difference. So clematis and then the, yeah. Oh, great. Oh, this is so good. Thank you. Yes. So here is the real magnolia. Look how controlled the glaze is on the flowers. It's not just sort of a spray of pink randomly in a certain spot. The flower is very indefinite on this. The glaze doesn't even cover the whole flower. In the originals, the glaze is very meticulous. This one says USA. This one doesn't. Look at the difference in the clay color as well. So for all of you folks who are concerned about not collecting Roseville because you heard there were reproductions, look how easy it is to tell the difference if you have an honest seller like these folks here are. So don't be afraid of it. Roseville is great and the prices are right where they should be for new collectors to start collecting. You know, she made a good point too, and I will mention that because she mentioned it, that look how chalky it is. And it just doesn't feel right. So go to antique shows, hold these things up, see them side by side, and you will learn. And that's why they were kind enough to bring one reproduction so that you know that all their other great pieces are real. And boy, they have a lot of really nice pieces in this booth. I especially like the pine cone cornucopia over here, which at $80, boy, I remember when those sold for a lot more. So again, if you're into Roseville, this is a great time to start collecting again. This is a really unusual piece here. Futura is a line that was very modern when it came out right before the depression. They didn't make it long. This is the Beerstein. I have never seen that piece in person before. 